If you're planning a wedding right now, congratulations. You're probably busy lining up a caterer, tasting cakes, looking at dresses, but have you made time to talk about a prenup? I know, I know, totally not romantic, but prenuptial agreements are something that more and more couples are drawing up, and with good reason. Historically, they were only for the rich, but not anymore. A 2011 survey found that the number of prenups has risen dramatically, 73% over the past five years. There's no single reason for this, but it's safe to say that thanks to the ailing economy, people are thinking more about money. Also, couples are waiting a lot longer to tie the knot. The average age for first-time brides in the U.S. is 27, and for grooms, it's 29. That means people are bringing more of their assets to marriage. Again. Those assets don't have to be big to merit a prenup. If you've been working for a few years, hopefully you have some money in a retirement account. $5,000 may not sound like much, but by the time you retire, it could grow to over $220,000. Now that's real money and something you want to protect in case of divorce. Also, more couples are bringing significant debts to the altar. So putting a prenup in place means you won't be saddled with your spouse's student loans or credit card bills if you split up. Plus, there might be some things you haven't thought of that a prenup could help cover, like inheritance from your grandmother or maybe sentimental items like furniture. Attorney fees for a prenup typically start around $2,000. You'll need to contact a family attorney and you and your fiance will both need your own lawyers. Don't try the do-it-yourself route on this one. Spending the money to have this legal document done right could save you big headaches down the road.